What's up guys? Welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So I got a pretty decent one for you today. So were you aware that the R12 firmware came out with a bug? Mmm. I'm going to show you how to fix that. First things first. Okay, turns out that there's actually a bug inside the R12 firmware uh, that I ran across by accident. I, actually, it happened to me right after the R12s come out and I didn't know what was going on. So what happens is there's a RTCM network um, in Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. So there's an issue with the firmware with RTCM. So apparently when you connect up to an RTCM connection to a reference network, then what happens is you have to reboot the receiver to get it to um, to actually work again. So if you go in and you start a survey and it's an RTCM connection, you end that survey, you try to start that survey back up or another survey started connected to that network, the first thing you have to do is reboot your, your R12. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. <clears throat> There's some new firmware that came out. I brought this to Trimble's attention about a month ago and they jumped on it and um, they sent out a firmware, a new firmware update uh, Thursday, Friday, I think last week. And, um, so I wanted to get this out to you guys so that you knew what was going on. Uh, if you were having this problem, you would know, and then we're going to update the firmware and we're going to see how it works. So let me show you what's happening. So if I go into measure and I go to Mississippi single base and I say measure points. So what's going to happen is it's going to make the connection and you're going to see it connects up just fine. Boom. Okay, I'm connected, right? So what happens is if I go in and I say measure and I say in survey, power down receiver, no. See, most of you guys are probably power down receiver. You're not even be seeing this problem. Uh, if I go to measure and I go back to Mississippi single base and I say measure points, <clears throat> what you're gonna see is it's gonna go to 90% and then stop. Bam. So it will, it will sit there all day and never connect up. That's the bug. So I'm, we're going to go in, we're going to update the firmware, we're going to come back out, and we're going to see if we can fix this, okay? Okay, so um, two things you're going to need. R10, well, three things, actually. Your R10, cable that came with it, just like we talked about in the other video, and you're going to need Trimble Installation Manager. So what you're going to do... The uh, plug here that gives you a, like a USB symbol on it, that's where you're gonna plug this cable into. So this uh, should create a Trimble um, USB connection on it. So uh, let me uh, switch that around. I wanna put that in here. Plug that into my laptop. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out. We're going to find Trimble Installation Manager. Okay, yes. See if there's any updates. Okay, you want to make sure that you hit the tab that says Receiver and we're gonna say connect. Now when we connect, it's gonna ask us for a connection. You'll see it says COM port for Trimble USB. If it doesn't say that, then you've got a problem somewhere in your connection um, and you need to, to make sure make sure that, there's like a little piece of software, I believe, embedded in this thing. And that little piece of software, somehow or another, I'm not an IT guy, as you well know, um, it enables this thing to see that cable. So, okay, so there it is. Uh, COM4, I've actually used this with my, uh, I actually updated a receiver with uh, a TSC7 once upon a time. So, let's see here. Wait for it to connect up. Okay, so uh, it's finally connected up. It's found our receiver. Um, if you want to look at device information, it looks like my receiver, the firmware warranty is good till December the 8th of 2020. 
a um, little bit of information about it. I've got firmware version 6.4 uh, on here. I guess that's supposed to be 6.04 maybe. Um, so there's my radio frequencies and all that good stuff. So you'll see that uh, the receiver options and warranty, um, the, there's a couple of updates on here, um, 6.05. Uh, core update. So it's updating a few different things in here. Uh, latest re release 6.05. The original version was 6.04. So we're going to update to the latest re release. Yep. So well, let's see how long it takes to update this thing. Okay, so that took a minute. Wow, my internet must be really slow this afternoon. So uh, now that we've got this thing upgraded, um, we've got this R12 with the new firmware in it. Let's um, let's look at the release notes real quick. Let's see what uh, what they gave us. Okay. So if you go and you look at the release notes, I, I, I don't know if you notice that or not, but it's down here at the bottom. Um, we can look and see what they gave us. And um, right here, they're telling us who's eligible for the firmware. Right here, they're telling us the firmware uh, dates. You, in order to, to get this firmware, you have to be inside these dates in here. Um, and this is pretty much with all firmware, right? So when you go to upgrade your firmware, you can hit those release notes and, and get a lot of information. So here's the updates for each uh, particular uh, receiver and what it does. Um, so you'll notice that this RTCM problem that I was talking about is only with the R10 Model 2s and the R12s. The R10 Model 1s don't seem to have an issue. It's just was that new, new uh, pro point uh, firmware that they that they um, came out with and you'll notice here it says bug fix right on all that stuff with the RTCM so now what we're going to do uh, now that we've got this done now we're going to go outside we're going to hook it back up and see if it works so let me close this out we'll go outside and see if we can make this thing work <clears throat> Okay, so we're back out here. Uh, we've upgraded the receiver, and uh, now we're gonna see if it'll make the connection, see if that actually solved the problem. So let's go into measure. Let's go to measure single base, measure points. Boom, got a connection, RTK initialized. Since this is a firmware update, it may take it, there it goes. I was going to say it may take it a second or two to figure out where it's at. Okay, so let's um, measure, let's go to end survey, power down receiver, nope. Measure, Mississippi single base, measure points. Now last time we did this, we got 90% and quit. Let's see what happens. 
See if this solved it. Waiting for information from the base. Bam. So, that's working. Um, there it goes. It's initialized. So, um, initialization seems to be a little bit slow. I'm going to have to check that out and see what's going on. That may be because I'm tired of the network. And this network in Mississippi is uh, GPS GLONASS only. So, I could have an issue with it. I don't know. But, anyways, that solved that problem. So, we're good. So, guys. Woo! Another one bites of dust, right? So we get this video done. I've got some more planned for you. Um, I'm going to try to work on this week. I hope I have some time to do this. Um, anyways, as always, like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you guys watching these videos. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one, right? Cool.